strangers, grab a cup of tea because we are going to Gothic Door World. So let's go. strangers yes we have an exciting day today we are going to be looking at some gothic horror dolls and i'm very excited i have been talking to lots of lovely people that make and create these absolutely beautiful gothic dolls and yes i have done my makeup to try and look like a doll today to try and go along with this video because i am so excited for it Today we are not looking at just beautiful dolls, we are looking at creepy dolls, horror dolls, horror movie dolls, we are looking at lots of different people with lots of different ways they like to make their dolls and I am so excited that I can show you these today. Today we are starting with dolls from the dark side. Dolls from the dark side and they are a very cool company that actually make gothic horror ragdolls. I absolutely love ragdolls, so let's go and take a look at what they get up to. We are starting with the most cutest dolls I have to show you today. Unique or handmade ragdolls. So let me show you some dolls from the dark side. So first of all, I am a big horror movie fan and first of all I have to show you this very cute Billy Saw puppet doll and it is so incredible. I absolutely love this doll, I think he is cute and charming and I just love the cute little stitching around on the cheeks, it just gives it that really cute Ralph doll like finish and he is adorable. And I think he is the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's look at the next thing. From Dolls of the Dark Side. So this one made me laugh because of my video yesterday. And oh my goodness. It's a doll holding a sunflower. And it looks so creepy and so cute at the same time. I am. Um, I just love this thing. How cute is this? and creepy. I absolutely love Jack Skeleton and I saw these and I look, look at them they are so cute there is a baby Jack Skeleton and a baby Sally Ragdoll that is just pure cuteness in its full like it just blows me away how cute this is. I think all these dolls are so cute amazing so well done and you know the thought that's gone behind making these makes them so special and very cute and very lovely i love them so next we have sam and he's even got his cute lolly he's so cute and i would love to collect these one day i think they're so adorable again here is another horror movie character that we all love chucky how cute is this I am freaking in love with this Chucky, he is adorable and he's even got the rainbow coloured shirt. I absolutely love the fine details in this, I absolutely love the stitching down his face and I love it, I just think it looks just so amazing. I am so happy that I get to show these off to you today uh, and thank you so much Dolls from the Dark Side for letting me show these off today. Loopy Boopy step right up step right up the first thing i'm going to show you is a collection of very creepy and cool clown dolls all of these dolls are handcrafted so this is her new collection of carnival clowns and i absolutely freaking love clowns so i'm so excited to show you first this this is jean and jan they're obviously a two-headed circus freak to me this is so cute it just reminds me of like 
American horror style freak show vibes with this absolutely beautiful two-headed doll and it's just so amazing it's so cute and so cool next up we have this clown with a double face this doll is called Tessa and isn't she just adorable I love clowns and I love freak shows so these to me are just amazing so and now I would like to show you the whole collection of these absolutely amazing freak show style dolls Boopy Boopy does custom made dolls so you could ask her for a doll that you would like and she would make it for you while I was looking through her Facebook she really has got some really beautiful beautiful custom made dolls and the photos are just creepy, stunning and amazing. And just remember, every single one of them is different because they're all handcrafted and hand sculpted from clay. So each one of them has their own personalities and they're all just so different. This skelly boy called Robbie, he is wicked and he is cool. I absolutely love the fine details on his mouth. He gives me really like Jack skeleton kind of vibes. Maybe it's just the facial features. So let me just show you a few more of these dolls. This one's called Witchy Wendy. I love her pale face and she's so detailed. I think the black streaks down her face make you ask a hundred questions. I want to find out more about what is the story behind this doll. I want to know her past and her life and her story. There's just something about this face that has you questioning like everything absolutely stunning and beautiful i would love to thank loopy boopy for letting me show you her amazing work they are so good aren't they and facebook is where you can find stunning photos and work in progress which is very exciting next up we have souls of boldam if you check on facebook that's where you'll be able to find stunning photos and updates on new pieces so if you want to go and check that out, please do. Bespoke handmade crafted dolls. Crafted souls. <laughs> They're creepy and weird. Firstly, I want to show you this Jack skeleton doll. Oh my goodness. I think this is so cool. Absolutely crafted to perfection. Incredible fine details and absolutely stunning piece of work. I love all the little details on the outfits and I think they are so amazing. Handcrafted dolls of clowns I'm a sucker for. I'm in love with the skin texture and the weathered clothing. The thing I really love about this company is that they take so much pride in their packaging of their creations to give to their new owners. and. I have a video here showing you what exactly happens. Each one is carefully packed up and there is even a wax sealed envelope with a note from the seller. So I think that is a really beautiful touch to go along with their beautiful bespoke dolls. This is very well put together and makes the dolls even more super special. You can also get jumpers and shirts over on the website, which is amazing as well. There is just so many amazing dolls that have been created here. And it's been so fun taking you guys along to come and see some of these. They are stunning and beautiful. And I really appreciate you letting me share these today. So here is Lydia and Beetlejuice. And aren't they the most cutest pair of dolls you've seen? I love the button eyes and I love how creepy and dark they look. You can definitely see these dolls are made with love and pride. Again, thank you so much for letting me share your dolls today. I have loved looking through all your pictures and I have loved showing them on my channel today. So thank you so much. Next up is one I probably can't pronounce, but I will try anyway. I am very sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But these dolls are called, I put, I've probably put something here too so you can see how it's written because I'm not very clever at reading words, okay. I am a doll after all. Dolls can't read that well. 
<laughs> Athena Pabluti Art Dolls. I think it's that's right. Um, if you look on Facebook, you can find new projects, new pieces, stunning photos of these beautiful dolls. So here is another amazing doll maker. These dolls look very beautiful but very sad. First, I would like to show you a doll called Child in Me. Wow, look at this ghostly sad face. I love the way this little girl is put together and I absolutely love her grey dress and that sad expression on her face. She is wickedly creepy. Then we have these three witches. Double, double, toil and trouble. These are just beautiful and creepy. I love the little details. I love the brooms and the cauldrons. I feel so honoured to be able to show you these today because they're just remarkable. I just love them. Next we have Sweet Dark Maria. I love how creepy this one looks. All them fine details. The little red bunny she's holding in her hand. The little skull and the bow around her neck. The tiny small stitching around her mouth. Just wow, I just really love this. It's very sad and a beautiful image. So next we have a Molly. I love this whole image of this girl on the swing. And I can't believe that that's a doll. It's absolutely incredible. Again, this one has me questioning. I want to know her story so bad. Next, I would like to show you this commission that she made. And yeah, I, I, I love this so much. It's this beautiful doll with blue wool hair and she's got these spiders in her hair as well. She's just so perfect and so beautiful. But the last one I'm going to show you is called Miss Death. And she's one of the biggest dolls that this maker has made. She's over 50 centimeters high. And she is beautiful with butterflies, yes, butterflies all over her hair and her veil. I absolutely really love her pose and I think she is so pretty. Thank you so much, Fina Pabluti Art Dolls, for letting me use your images today to show my channel. I love them and thank you so much for letting me share them today. Next, I am excited to tell you about Betty's Freak Dolls. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you check out their Facebook, you'll be able to find like their new creations and find out what's new, their new pieces they're working on. Absolutely incredible. This is again something completely different now. We're, we're going more of a sinister style of doll right now. So first, we're going to look at this baby Pennywise. <sighs> absolutely freaking cool, right? I absolutely love the paintwork on this and it's absolutely lovely, cool yellow eyes. I find baby dolls to be very creepy and very odd and I love looking at this. It is a cute baby Pennywise and it's so cool. While looking around, then I found this. This is a beautiful bat with a baby's head. So I kind of calling it a bat doll. And it's just so different and I love different things. And to look at this was just amazing. I really enjoyed looking at this. Vetti Freak Dolls also, yes, also make zombie fairies. Well, they're probably not zombies, they're probably just deceased fairies and they are so realistic. I spent hours looking over them just trying to figure out how they're made because they're so cool. They are so many creepy creations over here on Facebook. So many different doll designs. Now let's take a look at this other clown doll with his cute rattle. He looks so cute sitting there in his nice clean shirt. There is definitely nothing wrong here. It's so creepy, but absolutely brilliant work here. My goodness, just take a look at these. There is just so many, that, so many different designs here. I put this video on to show you just how many and how different and how cool these dolls are. Absolutely amazing work here. I would love to thank 
Betty dolls for letting me show their amazing dolls off to you today. Absolutely incredible. I have absolutely loved going through your Facebook and yeah, I can't wait to see what you make next and things like that. It's so exciting. So thank you so much for letting me show your amazing work. Next, we have a company called Walking Dead Dolls. Follow them on Facebook to get their updates on new creations and also for stunning photos. Walking Dead Dolls make creepy reborn dolls that anyone would love. Well, only as weird ones anyway. There is nothing more creepy than a werewolf baby. Yes, Walking Dead Dolls do werewolf babies and they are so cute and they even have little sharp nails. Next we are going to see a, a demon baby in a cage where it belongs. I think if I had one of these dolls I think I would keep it in a cage as well just because you know to be careful on things but at the same time this is so cute as well and I love this image I think it's really clever and I think it's really cute. Oh my goodness check out the veins and the eyes it's just so realistic then veins are so cool and next we're going to look at this really cute sleeping vampire baby and i freaking love this thing i think it's adorable i think this is all really well put together and i love this photo it's so cute and so creepy i'd like to thank walking dead dolls so much for letting me share their absolutely incredible work with you today thank you Thank you so, so much. And yeah, next we have creepy gothic handmade dolls. But I'm not sure they're called that or moody misfits. You can go over to their Facebook and check out new pieces, new things they're working on, things like that. And it's all very cool and stunning. So if you want to go check it out. Do you like mega creepy and weird well let me introduce moody misfits so firstly so you know what kind of dolls we're looking at here i'm going to show you these three misfits to show you what kind of dolls we're working with here because these ones are different again three amazing friends and wow they have the most coolest facial features and the expressions on their faces are just amazing all the characters from moody misfits all seem to have their own characters and their own moods as well next of course i had to show you another clown i just can't get over this really cute smile and these teeth are so well done and I imagine that's pretty hard to do when you're sculpting a creation like this but you have captured that smile perfectly i absolutely love the big eyes and that big smile he is so cute let's check out some more work this doll's face is brilliant she looks like a crazy cat lady or something she her eyes are so wide open i absolutely love her little spiderweb outfit and i think she is adorable this one i thought was very interesting this is a collection i think that they do and these are bleeding heart dolls. They look so cute and so unloved. Some of these pieces hold so much emotion and I think the facial features are just incredible and very well done. So, so I'd like to thank you so much for letting me show your work off today. Absolutely incredible. I think what you do is amazing and keep it up. Yeah, and just thank you so much. So that's the end of our video today and I have loved seeing all these really different, cute, gnarly, creepy, amazing dolls. Yeah, and I've had good fun and I hope you have too and I hope you enjoyed my video today. Thank you so much for coming along and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Try to sleep tonight if you can. And don't forget, be weird, be yourself, and be different. Because otherwise, 
We're just boring. Bye-bye.